This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below and turn it on your nose to post notifications. <laughs> As you can see, I have a new color. I am rocking. She is red. She is layered. She has body. She has luster. This hair is brought to you by Nadula Hair Company. So, of course, I'm going to show you what's inside the box, how I customize, colored, and layered this unit as well as a full install tutorial so if that is something you guys are interested in then definitely keep on watching bye lisa do you think you overdid it with our hair uh -uh. nope i sure don't because we're going to beverly hills now if i'm gonna do good at that audition we got to look like stars In this box, I received a nice silk bag with a beautiful headband. This unit is a 24 inch body wave HD lace 13 by 4, 180% density lace wig. She is pre plucked. She has adjustable straps and combs, four combs to be exact, and plenty of parting space. Alright you guys, we're going to start off with bleaching the knots with 40 volume developer and BW2 powder. Mix it up and create a thick consistency like butter. So here's a little trick you guys. Get your got to be glue blast free spray and spray the hairline. Once you spray it with a really good amount of spray, comb it back with a small tooth comb. And this will help you not over bleach your knots because we don't like over bleach knots. I truly hate it. And then here I'm using a plastic knife and smoothing that bleach like it's butter, like it's a peanut butter jelly sandwich girl. So after about 20 minutes, I wash off this wig using warm water. I'm taking my Redken moisturizing shampoo and focusing on the frontal first and then make, working my way down to the end of the hair. Make sure you wash all your new wigs, um, especially if it's a very new straight out the box because you never know what has gotten into it through the shipping process. Once we are rinsing that out, we are using our purple conditioner. I focus more on the frontal because it takes away the brassiness. And then I'm using my silicone mix for the rest of the hair. So this is the next day, you guys. This is a three day process, by the way. So here I am just hot combing the frontal down so I can see all the baby hairs, see all the little hairs. So I make sure when I dye this unit that all the color is through all the strands so here i am just separating the hair in sections i did got get these super cute pink gloves from sally's and then i got three boxes of this copper red dye because knowing me i always make mistakes when i dye my hair as you can see i used this 30 volume developer first and it did not work because it's a clear so i took my 40 volume developer that is a cream consistency and I mixed that up with the second box so I didn't show you guys the first box and me applying it because it's just gonna be way too long of a video so just skip that first step use 40 volume developer and then mix the specific ingredients in together and you will not waste like six hours like I did girl oh my goodness so just do 40 volume developer and one box all you need is one box honestly it soaked up the hair it lifted the hair really really good um, but I do encourage you to buy multiple boxes when you're dying hair because sometimes you make mistakes I know I certainly do like literally every time I attempt to dye some hair I make a mistake and you know three days pass by and I finally get the perfect look look so yeah listen to my mistakes girl um i really make sure it's lathered up 
and when it comes to the frontal part I leave a little little bit of black because I do want some dark roots um, I finger comb it and apply it and then once I drench the hair with this stuff avoiding the lace of course I take a plastic bag and let it sit outside because outside girl it was like 90 degrees I let it sit for like four or five hours this is the next day you guys I put it under a blow dryer because I did conditioner overnight and this is the color that it turned out it's so beautiful it's giving very much red chocolate type of color like look at the shine on this wig like it looks so good you guys are saying how bomb it looked on twitter and instagram and honey this is 4k you guys see it you see the color is super gorgeous oh i'm obsessed So I am taking my Silk and Shine by a black owned company, U Balance. Definitely check her out below. She is my auntie. Um, so here it's still a little damp, so I did go in to blow dry this whole head of hair because you know I'm trying to apply it literally today, y'all. It took way too long to do this process because of all my little mistakes. So after blow drying it, I take some more of that spray and spray it all over the hair. And then here I do a quick straighten. I do like one pass, one or two passes through the wig because of course I am going to curl it. This is the hair after blow dried and straightened. She is still bomb. So here, get your shears and here I'm going to show you how I cut layers. This was kind of really hard because of like the camera angles and stuff. So bear with me y'all, bear with me. So here I am just parting a middle part cause I do want a middle part. And then I focus on the end and start cutting into a V shape. So here with the bangs, I just like, you know, layer, not layer it, but like cut it in a diagonal way. So the whole, hair is like cut into a v shape and doing this can help you see where to cut when we are cutting layers I did make sure I cut the ends. Um, I added one of those um, sheets so I could see like how it looks cause the dome head was not doing justice. So I did have to get something to where I could see how the hair is looking. So once we finished cutting that V here, I just grabbed the bang area. I lift it all the way up 90 degrees. Like I comb forward and then lift it all the way up until I get to the shortest, um, Hair. and then as you can see I am cutting like bluntly so I just cut bluntly so that doing that like raising it up in the air will help like that layered effect and give you those curtain bangs that you see on TikTok. so I just basically comb it up layer it and then cut it so comb it up and then cut it like just a blunt cut because you already you know I don't know if that makes sense you guys <laughs> you might have to watch a whole nother tutorial because I am not good at explaining but visually you guys understand like I'm bringing it up and then when I have that shortest piece I then cut the whole thing off so I just do that I get big sections um, vertical horizontal sections <laughs> Does that make sense? Horizontal sections and just keep cutting over and over again. And then it just creates that bomb like layered look. So I have plenty, plenty of tutorials of how I pluck my units. But of course I have to input a little bit of footage just to show you how I pluck. Um, I do arrogant taze method with a white towel and then hot comb it down and see how the hair is going to look. And then of course I do a widow's peak and this is the results. And then don't forget to get your Ruby Kisses concealer and apply that on the frontal cap and as well on the hairline. 
Y'all still with me? Okay, it's time to install this wig. So I'm putting some gel on my edges and a little stocking cap. Um, I am not doing the ball cap method this time because I don't know, my skin is used to like the God's Be Glow Blast Free Spray. So I'm just skipping the ball cap method in general and just applying it onto my skin and avoiding my edges. So here, if you guys want like a detailed video of me installing this wig, definitely check out my 2021 install tutorial. It's very, very detailed. But I'm just going to rush through this tutorial because it's getting a little long and I know you guys got things to do. So here I went back to the She Bombs hair wax stick. If you guys could tell, that stick is so bomb. After I basically press out my edges, I take my blow dryer and comb it towards my face to add more volume. And then here, you guys, oh my goodness. Do you guys see the melt? Look at this, this hair is my hair. It's officially my hair. It's growing out of my scalp, period. This HD lays did what needed to be do done. Why did I say do? I don't know. <laughs> but here, after cutting my lace, I am just basically parting my baby hairs taking my wig dealer blast free spray or wig dealer melt spray <laughs> girl i'm mixing my products together ciao okay anyways i added the elastic band and then here i'm taking my banana clips and i am pin curling this hair you guys so i just curl it and then wrap the curl back twist it up do whatever and then clip it back and then i use like some hairspray and let it cool down and i basically waited maybe like 30 minutes like I did my makeup and got dressed and all that after pin curling my hair and that should be plenty of time for the curls to cool down so here I am taking an alcohol wipe this is a secret you guys don't be telling everybody but this is the secret to like making sure your lace is like bomb and not crispy and white so if you ever have like white residue or the hair is a little crispy just get an alcohol wipe that will help and then here I'm just combing my edges down. Definitely check out my fluffy baby hair tutorial if you like my edges. If you hate my edges, keep it to yourself because I don't, I don't got time. I don't got time. <laughs> so I'm just adding my last spray of hairspray and then taking the pins from the pin curls down. Then here I am getting a wide tooth comb and combing that towards my face. So if you guys, you know, seen the little TikTok trend when they comb towards the face and then like go up and down, like shake their hair, all that. <laughs> That's exactly what I did, okay? And girl, do you see this body, yaddy, yaddy? This is body, honey. Uh, why am I just now getting into the swing of things with this layering haircut i'm definitely gonna do this method to a lot of my body wave units look at how i'm just able to just part my hair in any type of part like girl i'm feeling like a white girl for real with this hair because i'm able to just put my fingers through this hair so here i'm just adding more shape to the bang so i can create the long curtain bang look so it could just fall on my face and shake my face beautifully um yeah get your shears because that eyebrow razor was not doing justice okay so here i'm just cutting more layers into it i could do a middle part a side part any part you desire girl this hair is warm you see this oh, i'm so obsessed look at the color the shine the body so this is my ultimate favorite hair color that is perfect for the fall i'm so obsessed oh Thank you so much to the little hair company for letting me try out this gorgeous unit. Don't forget you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and share down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!